After Paul loses his job, as well as being cheated out of the deal to sell part of his expensive wine collection by a swindler, and his wife Mary, who works as a nurse at a local hospital, is denied a bank loan as she defends herself from the sexual harassment of leery bank manager Mr Leach, Paul and Mary are down on their luck financially, with no idea on how they'll ever achieve their dreams of a bespoke restaurant in the country, far away from the morally grey landscape of Hollywood, which goes against their conservative, sexless mindset. That is, until they discover that murdering swingers with a frying pan by luring them into the apartment with an advert for unrestrained kink play is the couple's easiest route to a tax-free payday. Once locksmith Raoul catches wind of this scam, however, Paul and Mary must bide their time, giving Raoul a cut of the earnings or else they'll be blackmailed, and the dreams of their restaurant will never come to fruition. This is Paul Bartels, anarchic, raunchy, and risque dark comedy Eating Raoul, a film filled with a sharp-witted brand of offensive humour that takes its most fierce jabs at overtly patriarchal power, sexual harassment, and the injustice dealt towards innocent and rather pathetic nobodies such as Paul and Mary. While the small budget of the film is apparent, the impact of the film film's distinct sense of humour is rollicking and boisterous, likely to provide hearty laughter to those seeking comedies in a similar vein to John Waters' own brand of outrageous kitsch comedy. While the numerous jokes regarding sexual assault are bound to upset more sensitive viewers, understandably so, the intent behind eating Raoul's shock humour is to exaggerate with intense hyperbole that these more offensive scenes become incredibly difficult to take seriously, while also swinging much needed punches swiftly towards the individuals who perpetrate such sexual abuse. Paul and Mary's scam at the centre of eating Raoul to murder the swingers who answer their false advertisement for liberating kink play and rob them of every penny serves as an action of rebellion against the injustice they both experienced. Mary is the victim of sexual harassment from her patients at the hospital, the sexual harassment also extending to her other professional endeavours such as seeking a bank loan as a financial foundation for her and Paul's dream restaurant. Paul is belittled by a shifty liquor store owner, his employer, despite Paul's fast gourmet knowledge of wine, while also being cheated out of six of his most expensive bottles from his personal wine collection, which he was reserving for when his and Mary's restaurant opened. While a couple hold their own marital issues, eventually leading to Mary and Raoul having an affair which unlocks her own sexual liberation, Paul and Mary are our anti-heroes, their murderous actions serving as a rejection of the morally grey landscape that normalises sexual harassment and the financial cheating of honest workers. Eating Raoul's biting satire critical of Hollywood serves a portrayal that, while an exaggeration, is not 100% different to the sleaziest corners of Hollywood, where sexualization is normalised in advertising, yet unfairly punished in the streets, almost giddy in its criticism of the power that embraces sexuality, but only when it serves those within power. Eating Raoul is intent on dismantling the power of sleaze, which so eagerly corners Paul and Mary, pushing them to fight fire with fire. In its critique of the normalisation of sexual abuse and exploitation of honest workers, Eating Raoul's embrace of distasteful humour potentially rivals the shocks of John Waters at his most chaotic. Mary, as part of the plan to rob swingers, partakes in a Nazi kink roleplay. Raoul, after his final attempt to blackmail Paul and Mary, is murdered and turned into chowder, served to the realtor who has evaluated Paul's and Mary's apartment. A swingers party is gauge crashed and ends in literally killing the party. The humour on offer is intent on outraging conservative values regarding sexual monogamy, attempting to push its absurdist gags to their most ridiculous limits, sprinkling in self-deprecating gags regarding how out of touch Paul and Mary are. Eating Raoul aims to punch up with its offensive gags rather than punching down. For all the outrageous anarchic comedy, Eating Raoul is surprisingly progressive in its portrayal of sexuality. A dominatrix sex worker is portrayed as a business-minded single mother who is providing for her child. The sexual liberation of Mary leads to an unlocked level of joy she hadn't quite experienced before, even if she is aware that it challenges her traditionalist marital values. The visual gags regarding sexual harassment and assault are also likely to work for some viewers more than others due to the punchline centering on the discussion of consent. The victims are not quite the joke here, 
here, but the ignorance of not understanding or refusing to understand consent is. Despite the myriad of sexual and cannibalistic jokes, Eating Raoul is very much a left-wing film that mocks the ignorance surrounding a topic as important as consent, while also mocking the conservative outrage that leads to such sexless, holier-than-now attitudes. In conclusion, Paul Bartle's Eating Raoul is an outrageous comedy that on the surface aims to offend, but at its centre is an almost punk intent on disrupting traditionalist values of sexuality, reinforcing the significance of consent, and criticising the normalisation of sexual abuse and exploitation of honest workers. An offbeat underdog story of sorts, Paul and Mary aim to take on a world of hedonism to get what they want and need, almost discovering a sense of gleeful hedonism themselves in the gratification they receive in robbing the sexually liberated and sexually aggressive. An acquired taste within the landscape of comedy, but once you try eating Raoul, you may just be hooked. Special thank you to my incredible tier Patreon supporter Gil and my super tier Patreon supporters Constantin Bombelli and Victoria. <laughs>